tornadoes are common in parts of the United States from March through August. Oklahoma is a state in the heart of what's called Tornado Alley. And for more on the current spate of twisters, I'm joined by Dr. Harold Brooks, a senior scientist at the National Severe Storms Laboratory, part of the U.S. National Weather Service. And of course, you can't gauge the tornado season by just one single storm, but are tornadoes becoming more severe, would you say? No, there's no evidence that tornadoes are becoming more severe or less severe. Uh, we've, we could look back over records that are pretty good for about 60 years and we see no evidence of any long-term physical trends. Now, uh, you heard Sean Caleb say that uh, some of these folks said that it had very little warning. How about uh, your research? Is that helping to improve forecasting? Well, a little bit. And, and the warning for yesterday, uh, there have been lots of forecasts talking about the potential for a uh, major severe weather outbreak uh, on, on Monday for some several days before that. And the warning from the National Weather Service came out 16 minutes before the tornado touched down west of Newcastle and about 35 minutes before the tornado got into, into Moore. Right now, one of the big things we're actually trying to study at the Severe Storms Lab is to understand how people respond to warnings and how we communicate warnings to people so that perhaps we can get better responses uh, even without changing the, the quality of the warnings, finding ways that we can get people to understand that the warning means that they need to take action. Well, let me ask you about that because I lived in Tornado Alley for a while and, and after a while it does get to be rather repetitive. Is there something that can be done to, to get across to people the, the severity of this? Well, that's one of the big questions we've got. We need to understand in large part what people think is actually a, a warning that, that applies to them. Uh, for the last oh, 25, 30 years, Cleveland County, which is where most of Moore is located, has averaged a little over one tornado warning per year. And so it's a, you know, it's a little hard to do a whole lot to those numbers to reduce them, uh, you know, because that's just not, that's not very many. If that's, if that's too many for people to uh, respond to, then th we've got a real serious problem that we would have to deal with. Well, doctor, uh, what, do you, what do you take away from this when you look at these images? Well, I mean, clearly there's a, there's a lot of devastation. Uh, one of the messages that, that, you know, the message of hope that I see out of it is that even in that devastation, uh, people who did the right thing, uh, you know, sought shelter on the lowest floor, interior room, things like that, and things survived. It may not have been very pleasant, but that they managed to survive. And the fact that we could, the fact that we had people who responded well uh, is, is, a, is a good thing. The fact that we were able to anticipate the, the nature of the warning. I mean, yesterday morning, uh, the, 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 it was being expressed that if a thunderstorm formed in the Oklahoma City area, it was likely to produce a strong to violent tornado. Uh, and that message was getting out, you know, at 11 a.m. Um, hopefully helped some people make good decisions along the way. Dr. Harold Brooks, thank you so much for joining us live this evening.